Yes, once again and joining us on this channel sports 7 gh it's always a great pleasure to have you join us this is another beautiful day the almighty god has made let us be glad and rejoice in it in this video we are going to talk to you about black stars defender baba raman collapsing on a football pitch very very shocking and bad news over there baba raman collapsing on a football page, how did it happen? Um, what is his state? Is he fine? Is he not fine? What is the news we are hearing from Greece? We are going to bring you all the updates in this particular video. It's a breaking news coming in. Also, another breaking news um, is that Asamwa Jan um, has been mentioned as part of ba Baomia. Yes, yes, Baomia. Dr. Mahamud Baomia's campaign team. And with that, the manifesto, the manifesto, those who will be building the manifesto for Baumiano, as Samojan has been mentioned as part of those people, at HSA, Enya is a crowd. So the next sports minister, as I we are going to bring you more updates. Um, about that also, as Samojan himself also talked about certain issues, how to bring investors into Ghana, football and sports fraternity. We are going to talk about all of that and then we will bring you more news on Thomas Pate, Thomas Pate. What is the news? We are going to talk to you about all of that. Do all to subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit the notification bell, and select all. Leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any. It's always a great pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very, very much for staying with us. Now, let's start from <laughs> Baba Raman. Baba Raman is a fantastic Ghanaian player, Black Stars player. In fact, he's featured for the senior national team, the Ghana Black Stars, on several occasions. Yes, I'm um, going to the AFCON 2023 cry. He was selected as part of the final 27 man squad, but then he excused himself from the list, saying that he is coming back from injury and he wants to um, have full focus on his club side and um, power FC and do very well for them. So he don't want to be part of the African Cup of Nations 2023 tournament we went to play in Ivory Coast. Now, this evening, uh, Pauk FC was playing in the semi-finals of the Greece Cup or the Greek Cup. Um, they were playing the semi-finals and uh, Baba Raman collapsed on the field of play during the game after he went with into an air ball or he went uh, for an air ball and then when he, the, he and the player collided the opponent player they crashed okay and then he landed on the page um he, he, he collapsed and he collapsed on the page he couldn't do anything okay he was just lying there and so um ambulances and the medicals had to um the, the, the doctors and all of those people had to rush onto the page and then they had to try to save him so he has regained consciousness okay so right now if you touch him he can feel it if you shake him he can feel it and all of that so he has regained consciousness and he's fine but then he has been sent to the hospital um for further checkups and everything so that if there is a bigger problem they will recognize it and then they will seal it and everything will be fine so that is the big news on baba raman he collapsed on the football pitch but then he has regained consciousness and he's very fine okay he's not very fine but he's okay right now and has been sent to the hospital thank god that um an unfortunate incident didn't happen because we've we've seen that um um oh oh this player who collapsed on the field of play albania in albania oh 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 i've forgotten his name I've forgotten his name. His his funeral was, it just happened um some few days ago. Okay, and he died. So Baba Raman, no, he didn't die. Okay, he's fine. So it's a very, very good news over there. Now, in fact, thank God for that. Now, let's talk about Samuel Jan. Today, the <laughs> Samuel Jan. In fact, some of the Ghanaians know they have mixed feelings about this one because Samuel Jan has been named as part of the people who are going to draft the campaign message. In fact, the manifesto for 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 dr baumia um you know that dr baumia is currently the flag bearer a hey, flag bearer <laughs> the flag bearer of the new patriotic party going into the 2024 general elections now when dr baumia was um talking about his vision and what he wants to do for the country as Amojan was present there that is when people started to uh, make the rumors that look it looks like as Amojan is part of the Dr. Baumian Baumian's campaign train and everything. So right now today he has been named as part of the people who are going to draft 
the manifesto for Dr. Baumia, and he is going to be part of the youth and sports ministry. So that section, you know, those people are going to draft the manifesto for the youth and sports section. Okay, so if Baumia comes, this is what he will do for for the sports. What this is what you do for the youth. This is what that is where Asamojan is. So. As the news come now, that's why people are saying that hey, then it means that Asamoja is going to be the next minister for um, Ghana. <laughs> when Dr. Baumia is ele elected, he's likely to be the youth and sports minister for Ghana, and that will be a very, 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 very good one over there. Asamoja is entering to mainstream politics right now. The NDC for no travel, no NDC for no almost in the in the bar. I'm going to pan out in the bar. Ah, what's Asamoja? Pan out in one share, Okra, oh, yeah, he wants a pan out, who's ever here. Just saying, yeah, he's a crass and we're done entering into mainstream politics as he is part of them. People are going to draft the manifesto of the new patriotic party's flag bearer, Dr. Baumia. As I'm just still in the news, is when he went to his Twitter to write these words that look, um. <laughs> He is encouraging his former footballers and legends of the game to ensure that they bring invested into Ga investors into Ghana sports, whether it is the football, whether it is um, boxing, whether it is tennis, and um, everywhere, just any sports uh, in the discipline. Biano, they should ensure that they bring more investors into the game. And he said that look, he has already started that, and he's ensuring that more investors will come into the Ghana uh, sports fraternity, and so all his other um legends of the game can kindly join him and then all of them will bring hands together and then do this to um, perfection and of course it's a very very good call yes we need more investors we need more money and as the investors are coming you know tell the gfa to be very transparent and credible credible and and an and, and association with integrity because if the investors come and you tell them that oh we are going to take you this money we are going to do this you are going to do this and you give them some uh, they will go away the G ghana football association should create a conducive environment for the investors to thrive when they come and it is very very important that this happens so as i want to ask you to preach or say that you are saying that oh investors should come to ghana no when they come they have to have the conducive environment and that is very very important over there so yes uh, those are some of the news surrounding us and watching. let me know your thoughts comments views opinions about all the issues in the comment section like this video hit the notification bell thomas Pate is a fantastic ghanaian player plays for arsenal football club he had joined the group training of arsenal fc and in fact traveled with the team to porto but then he wasn't part of the match day squad of the uh, UEFA Champions League game versus Porto tonight. He wasn't on the bench. He wasn't on the starting 11. In fact, he, he was coming from injury together with Fabio Vieira. Okay, but Fabio Vieira of Arsenal was part of the team. He was on the bench. But Thomas Pate wasn't on the bench at all. And a lot of Arsenal fans were very, very worried. Now, why is he not on the bench? Has he gotten injured again? Or what is the situation? As of now, we don't know if Thomas Pate has gotten injured again. But the news is that he wasn't part of the match day squad. Let's see. Maybe during the weekends or the subsequent games coming up in a few days, maybe he'll be part of the match day squad and we'll see how things go. Thank you very much for staying with us. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Hit the notification bell. And so I'll see you in the next one. Bye.